In this video, I want to show you how to create a simple infographic in Easily. First thing I did was save all the slides from the Being Green PowerPoint into a folder. Then with each of the slides, I opened it in Windows uh, Picture Viewer. And I used the snipping tool in Windows 7 to cut out certain titles or images from the slides, save them as files in the same directory where I have my uh, slide images. <coughs> and I did this to collect most of the information. To get my graphs, I went to Google Images. And for any given um, text in my slides, I just type that into Google Images. So here I'm going to type um, saving energy at home. <coughs> Excuse me. You get a bunch of graphs and images. Find one that has a graph that looks like it might be usable in your infographic. Here's a pie chart down here. Um, you don't want anything that's too complicated. So I click the pie chart. On the far right, click View Full Size, and then right click over it to save the image as some image. And here I'm saving it into my infographic directory. So I do this for um, as many of the text items in my slides as I want. And I collect these various images that I can use in my infographic. The images should be sort of data oriented. Next, I go to Easily and I log in. I have a class account that you can use if you don't want to get your own Easily account. You're presented with a number of templates. Find a template that looks like it might be something you could modify to, to put your stuff into. So I picked this simple one, uh, male and female stuff. What I'm going to do is get rid of most of the content in the template. So I click an item, and on the upper left, there's a trash can that shows up. The next thing I'm going to do is import the images that I save from the slides. So you can import one image at a time uh, with the Upload button. Or you can actually collect several images and import them all at once. So here I'm going to collect all of the images that I want to uh, create my infographic with. And click Open. Now they all load in one on top of the other. That's a problem. So you have to kind of separate them out. Drag them around on the page so that you can see them. You could also resize them to make them smaller, whatever you uh, like to do on that. But you want to have all of your images visible somewhere so that you can drag them into your infographic. So I'll uh, fiddle with these for a minute or two here. <laughs> You could, of course, for things like titles, use the Easily Titler. And there you'll get a, a, a limited but very um, displayable selection of fonts. Here I'm grabbing the title from our first slide, make it a little larger, and I'm placing it on the page. Now I'm going to delete the items just underneath it. You can shift select to select several items. And then to get the trash can back, click the item that you've shift selected, and the trash can shows up on the left. You may not have collected all of the items, because in Easily there are layers, and items uh, sit in front of each other, just as they do in PowerPoint. So here I've made some room for some uh, information. And I'm going to add my titles. And then I'm going to add the, the graphs that go with them. So here's my title on uh, saving water. You can rotate things by grabbing the little handle that hangs at the top.
So this is how to get started, and this is what I got when I finished with things resized and positioned accordingly. When you're done with all of these, you can oh, uh, you can add various little icons. So they have people and nature and all kinds of little icons. Click the icon and you can change the color of it as well. Now I'm going to click Save at the top. Save it with a name. And uh, if you're using the class account, you should include your name as part of the infographic name. Finally, to share it, there's a share button uh, under your list of infographics. When you do that, you get a web link to it. You also get an embed link. What you should do is copy the web link and then save it. Here I'm putting it into Notepad. And when you submit your assignment here, I want you to include that web link in the comments to the assignment.